All right, this one's me for Tmux users. This time we learn how to do uh, interactively swap windows, swap panes, and move panes using a choose tree feature they have in Tmux. So if you're using any type of newer Tmux version, you should have the choose tree option here. And so if you hit prefix, by the way, my prefix key is binding to control space. So if you look at my screen key, um, hopefully you don't get confused, but control space is my prefix key. So if you hit control um, or your prefix key and then W, you should have this choose tree here. And this is how, you know, by default, um, you can choose the window you want to jump to uh, manually or interactively, I mean, right? So control was a prefix and W. And you can actually use, was that the, uh, was that the numbers or the high keys on the side here? So it says zero. You know one two three up to nine and you can even use alt and a alt b and all that so if i want to hit uh let's say nine here i can jump to that window so pretty much that's what we're going to do for um choose tree here we're going to use that uh with you know swap window swap pane move pane and all that so how do you do this here so if i want to swap you know our current window which is on uh, window eight here which is called config or conf and when i swap it with window one uh, real easy. All you gotta do is hit uh, prefix and then shift and W. And I want to swap it with window one. And window one is actually on um, two here. So we can actually use you know arrow keys if you want, and you can expand it. What is it? Expand this if you want to. You know, if you have more than you know one pane, you can actually expand it. Or if you're using Vim hotkeys, you can do that. Or you can actually use the, you know, the hotkeys on the side here. Like I said before, you know, these little, you know, zero, one, two, three, whatever it is. So either or any of those ways you want. So if I want to go swap it with uh, one here, I can go here and hit enter, right? And now our conf is on window one uh, at the bottom here. And our window eight is where the www is. So if you want to do that again, use that prefix and then shift W here. And I want to swap it with window eight, which is on, was it the hockey nine? And I can do that also. And that's how you swap windows interactively if you want to do that. Uh, the next thing is to swap panes, all right? Do we have any panes over there? We'll go to one and we'll create some panes here. We'll do an LS. And on window eight here, we'll do figlet um, pane one. So this is pane one, and you can confirm that by doing prefix and Q, right? We have pane zero and then pane one at the bottom here. Um, by default on Tmux, you know, it starts out with zero and then one, two, three, four, five, and all that. So that's why you have two panes, but it only says pane one and zero. But basically, we have two panes, even though it starts with zero, like I said. Anyways, uh, how do you swap panes here? So if I want to swap this pane one here with, um, you know, our pane zero up here, which is my uh, WDM web browser here, right? How do I do that? Real easy. We do uh, prefix, shift, and P. And I can go, you know, to that uh, uh, window one, and I can expand it using either my arrow keys, you know, left, right, whatever, uh, or Vim hotkeys, HKL and all that. And I wanted to uh, swap it with, what is that, uh, ping zero. I can go there and hit enter. And look at that, now we have our, you know, a W3M web browser here, instead of um, the ping one that we um, swapped it with, right? And same thing, if I want to swap it back, let's say I want to swap this back over here, I can do, you know, prefix, shift, and P. And I can go to, um, what was that, window eight here. And I expand that. And this is the one I swap it with, right? Look at that, we swap it back to uh, window one. Uh, real easy, that's how that works, really. The next thing is to move pane. So when we're moving pane, we're not actually swapping anything. We're actually forcing it to move to that window. So this one is control P. So if I do, what is that? prefix and then control P I can swap or I can move this to um, was that window one 
and now we have three panes so if we see that here we have zero one and two so that's three panes right uh, just to show you that again here uh, so that's how you do that real easy so I got the same idea uh, instead of using interactively we can do a command prompt which I don't think a lot of people don't use but I actually had it in there so I'll show that off anyways um, and how do we do that here we will do the same thing for swap windows right and this one is a like command prompt style so for example um, well let me explain this one first before if you don't know you know team mugs a lot uh, at the bottom of team mugs there usually is like a, a session name you know your win how many windows you have and which pane you're on so you see here it says sessions uh, yours might be a little different depending on your setup or whatever but they should have something like uh, you know three numbers the first one, it can be a number where I think it can be a name too, because that's your session name, right? Uh, since I don't have any name, I just it's by default it just gives you a uh, a number which is zero, right? So that's your session name, and then how many windows do you have? Uh, we have eight. It's actually nine because it you know it does it includes like the zero also, and which pane are you on right now? We're on on pane uh, zero since when we have you know. Uh, one pane in here, but if you have another one, you see that the zero is now a one, right? And if we have more, uh, you see now it's a two, right? So that's our pane. So if I jump between them, you see that zero, one, two, zero, one, two, right? So that's how many panes that we have and how many windows that we have. Like I said, we have uh, actually a total of nine windows, right? But it only counts from zero, you know, to eight here. But uh, that's how you get that number here on the eight. Anyways, hopefully you understand that. But that's what we're going to be using if you want to use this command prompt thing here. Real simple. Uh, since we're swapping windows, we don't really have to remember the pane. So we just use it like a whole number, all right? No decimal numbers or anything like that. So if I want to swap this one with. Um, window one so since you're swapping windows on here uh real simple we do a prefix and control alt and w okay prefix control alt and w and here we just tell it what you know window that we want to swap it with so let's say i want to swap it with one i just hit one push enter look at that we swap our config for uh you know our ww window now if i want to swap it back i do was that um, control alt and w if you want to swap it back with window 8 I just hit 8 and there you go alright um, what else is there if I want to do that same thing with swap pane uh, do we have any panes over here no we don't but we'll create some pane here so this one we'll call it again here figlet pane testing how about that if I want to swap this pane with our um, web browser pane, um, command prompt style, we'll do Control Alt and P, right? Control Alt and P here for swapping pane. So prefix Control Alt and P, and I want to swap this with pane. Uh, what was it? Window one, pane zero, which is our first pane. So zero what was that one dot zero. And look at that, we have our web browser over here. And that's how you swap it command prompt style. All right. Uh, if I want to move this one, uh, so move is just, what's that, Alt and P? Right. If I want to move this window, uh, what's that, Alt and P, move this to, what's that, one? Uh, that's it, right? I think we, we don't, oh no, we're moving paint, so we do have to put a decimal number. And there we go. So now on uh, window one, we have three panes again, right? Real easy. Uh, pretty much it for that, really. Oh, yeah. Another thing is that, um, you know, we're only doing like numbers, um, either whole numbers or decimal numbers. But uh, that's on our current session. If you actually have a different sessions, because right now we only have one session. Let me give you an example here. 
so our session is actually zero right here is zero zero like i said and if you have more than one session it might be letters uh, actually names but usually it's just numbers but you have like you know session zero uh if you're on your current session you don't actually have to type in the zero like uh you know for the session name because you're in the current session right but if you have like more than one session like session zero one two three four five whatever it is and you want to swap between sessions you actually have to put the session number or name um, but if you're doing it currently on your current session you don't have to do that you just use you know um, either for move or that for swap windows you can do like three or four or this is just a uh, 2.0 you know um, window or the window three dot one for pain one something like that but if you want to do like the whole thing uh, I'll show you that example of that also Hopefully I didn't confuse you there, but I'll give you an example. So maybe less confusion after that. So we want to do the same thing with the swap pane, but with the session name and all that, we can do that too, right? So for example, if I want to swap, uh, what was that? Uh, we'll do figlet again here. Uh, with session, how about that? All right, so if I want to swap this one uh, with the web browser one, uh, we can do what was that? control alt and P, and we'd actually type in the session name also, which our session name is just zero, and then we do zero colon one dot zero, right? Instead of we did before was just one dot O, this one we have to do zero colon uh, one dot zero, right? And look at that same thing, right? Uh, if you had like multiple sessions, you would have to happen like a different number than your current one. Anywho, hopefully you understood that, but you can do that with move pane and all that too. So for example, uh, let's move this pane here. We'll do the session name, the uh, pane with a window one and our pane zero. And there you go. Pretty much the same thing, but with the session name. Uh, hopefully you understood all that. Everything will be in the description if you want to use either the command prompt way or the uh, choose tree way. Yeah, most people are going to use the choose tree way, but you know, if you want to do the command prompt, it's there also. Um, that'd be it for this one.